same storms in, in this film. Yeah. And I, I've written a few art, like articles about actors that have come, like wrestlers that have come in to now becoming acting, like John Cena, Batista, etc. Um, and I say often it's been the case of the wrestlers are more, they can be more perceived as stars, if you will. Like they play the mm-hmm. characters that we know them as. Like I think mm-hmm. Cena and Rock are often do that. I don't say that in a negative way. They they would do yeah. it really well. But like Batista's been one the one that's perhaps more of an actor, shall we say? Like yeah. he deviates in roles. Could you classify James Storm in in one or the other? Like, like do you feel like he has this ability to branch out, or did he did he fit more? Well, into he like... has a bit small role. I mean, yeah. and he plays kind of a henchman. But it was something we had to talk about because his instinct is to go big all the yes. time. Yeah. And, and, and that's what a wrestler does. Like they make a promo and it's like, you don't have to go big. Like you're a very scary looking dude. Like, <laughs> and, and when you go big, it comes across as not genuine. So we would talk about that. And there were times when he could do a better performance. He had to get more comfortable, you know, and he's taken acting classes and things. So, you know, he's a guy who, first of all, he's a real pleasure to be around everybody liked him which is really important and, that's great and and the all the other actors like him but secondly he's got a great work ethic too so like he wanted to do a good job you know i mean like he took like no money he just wanted to be in the movie and he's been getting more movies and things so nice. but it's difficult it's almost like he had to go against his instincts on like you know he's thinking like i'm the bad guy so i got to be really big and bad and it's like when you're doing that it, it feels fake you know it doesn't feel like it's real and and one of the most important things for me in the movie were two things because like i think there's two tell telltale signs of unprofessional movies that are have a smaller budget that you see especially like short films or student films and i just tried to be aware and the number one thing is bad acting like acting like it's almost like the last thing considered is like they get like their friends to be an actor they get the and it's like you don't know what necessarily makes a good actor, but you, you when you're watching, you know what's not working. And yeah. it's hard to put your finger on it, but it's really important to get people that can act, you know, that, yeah. that are professionals and things. And uh, the other, you know, and, and, and to really take the time to discuss it. So like for people that were in the film that were non-actors, you know, um, we, we would talk about that. <laughs>